Hello, whiskey folk, and welcome to a, another live show. But this time, it's not a regular Thursday night. This is a pretty special uh, live event. Thanks so much for joining. I can see everybody pouring in already. It's fantastic to see everyone appearing. And um, happy World Whiskey Day to everybody. Um, I can see that we've got lots and lots of people coming in. Um, I'm also waiting on my co-host. He's been at a World Whiskey Day event today. Um, and uh, he's going to be joining me later. That's Jason Whiskey Wise. He's going to co-host with me. He doesn't really need to be here just now. This is just a pre-show, just to give you an overview of what's happening tonight. And then later on tonight, I'll be able to join you from half past 11 for a regular live show. Um, World Whiskey Day. We don't really need an excuse to celebrate whiskey. But I think it's good. I mean, the idea of having a World Whiskey Day, it just gives us that little bit of impetus, that inspiration for everybody to get together and just celebrate how fantastic a thing whiskey is for bringing people together. And look at what we're doing here. You know, we maybe can't get to a World Whiskey Day event. There maybe isn't something within reach for us, but we can sit down at home with a dram and celebrate it together, regardless of where you are in the world. And I'm hoping that that's what happens tonight. I'm hoping that we can all enjoy and celebrate together. Superb. Um, I'm going to just go through quickly what you can expect to see tonight. I'm going to just go through and I put out a video earlier today in case we run out of time during this session just to go through the channels, but I'd like to do that again quite quickly in a little while. Um, and uh, just give you a, a taste of what uh, channels are involved and what they're going to be getting up to. And also a bit later in this preview show, I'll talk about what I'm going to be getting up to in my show between 11.30 and 1 a.m. before I hand over to the Scotch Test Dummies. But what I've got just now is um, a, a bit of a special guest, a guy who was super excited by what we are doing, and he wanted to come in and just kind of help us kick things off, just kind of say hello and talk a little bit about this event that we have. So if I could ask you to unmute yourself, my friend, I would like to bring in the, the founder of World Whiskey Day, Mr. Blair Bowman. Hello. How are you, Blair? Wonderful. I'm very well. I'm in the back of a taxi in central Edinburgh. <laughs> You're in Edinburgh, are you? Fantastic. In and I've just been at the um, World Whiskey Day headquarters event all afternoon, and we've had a fantastic time. And I just thought it'd be really nice if I could kind of come in and say hello and wish everyone a happy World Whiskey Day um, and hope you enjoy the rest of the evening because it's just um, it's it's so surreal seeing everything that happens now all over the world from Tahiti to Hawaii and everywhere in between and events like what you've put on this evening is exactly what I was hoping when I set this up to see um, you know start to occur more and more people reaching out and connecting with people and the, the thing that brings us all together is whiskey drive or Japanese or whatever but we love we're so passionate about our subject about whiskey that we just can't stop sharing with others and a lot of us every day is a whiskey day but a lot of people never touch the stuff and it's just a nice excuse you introduce it to your friends or do something a bit different or have a party and it's just it's really surreal this is now the eighth world whiskey day and it's just amazing to see how it's continuing to grow and grow exponentially it's a wonderful wonderful thing and it's and as you say whiskey is just such a, a fantastic um social glue and it tends to drive people it forces people it really um, I just need to make sure my sound is okay. It looks okay. Yeah, I can hear you um, fine. Um, and it kind of drives people to get together and it impassions them to get a discussion going. Um, and, you know, it really becomes, you, you know, just a, a fantastic social thing. Um, and I think that that's what we're finding on YouTube, certainly, that we're all kind of creating content and putting videos out there and enjoying live streams. But the benefit that we're finding out of this thing is the community that's building up behind it. It's fantastic. Um, and it's, it's just building and building all the time. But I've got a question for you, Blair. What, when did you start World Whiskey Day and what motivated you to do it? So I was studying in Barcelona in 2011 as part of my studies as a year abroad. And I saw one day it was World Gin Day on social media. It was a trending topic uh, globally on Twitter. And I thought, that's very interesting. And I was much more interested in whiskey than in gin um, because about two years before that, I'd founded a whiskey club at Aberdeen University, which is where I kind of really got into whiskey. So I was looking to try and find, you know, Googling when is World Whiskey Day, what, you know, what's the date of it? Couldn't find anything. 
and they had um, World Twist, sorry, WorldGinDay.com, and it was just a landing page with a date on it and a few bits and pieces of information about a couple of events that were happening. And I thought, oh, this is interesting. I'll type in WorldWhiskeyDay.com, and it was available to buy. So I bought it immediately, and then yeah, made a landing page, put a Google Map on with pinpoints in the first year, and then it, it just kind of took off and snowballed beyond belief. And that was 2012 was the first one. Fantastic. And it has kind of taken a life of its own, isn't it? And, and it's really, it's an all-inclusive, open-to-anybody type thing, isn't it? Anybody can get involved. That was always the ethos about it was for, you know, whiskey companies, big and small, um, international whiskies, and for anyone that really wants to come into whiskey and try it for the first time, it's meant to be kind of open and safe and, you know, there's no snobbery, there's no rule. And also for people who are really already, you know, very ingrained in whiskey as an excuse for them to do something a bit different or open that bottle of whiskey that you've been holding on to that you've not really found the right reason for yet you know this is a nice reason and even within the first year i was getting messages from people saying oh i'd saved a bottle to open for my son's wedding and i forgot to open it so i'm gonna open it tonight with him you know and that was really it was things like that that just really made me feel like this is what it was all about which is lovely absolutely i'm looking forward to opening a couple of special ones myself a wee bit later as well just another thing that you do. I, I, we, we had a chance of meeting in Edinburgh last year, and I'm hoping that I can meet you. I don't know if you're at the Whiskey Lounge event again this year, um, mm. but we got together, and uh, you had just launched this. Yeah. Um, I, I know that you're not expecting to plug this. Yeah. I'm choosing to do this because I quite like this. Oh, it's that kind of it's, I like this as a concept because what it does is it breaks whiskey down to, and it doesn't care whether it's scotch or bourbon or world whiskey, it doesn't matter, but it breaks it down by flavor profile. Yeah. And it introduces people to whiskey by flavor, by taste, not by brand, uh, not by where the whiskey's from, but by taste. And it's, it uses a tube map. What, 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 how did you come up with this idea? So I've collaborated with a woman called Nikki Welsh to create it. So she created a wine tube map. And then I saw the wine tube map. We met at an event and I said, I think this profile would work really well for the whiskey. And then it just happened it, very quickly and organically. We collaborated to produce the whiskey tube map. And then just next month, actually, she's, she's um, publishing a beer tube map uh, along the same principles with a beer writer that she's collaborated with. So as a, it's just very useful, I think, to talk about flavor. More than, there's a lot of chat, obviously, in whiskey about regionality. But I think it's you know, becoming a bit redundant when you have peated Speysides or you have unpeated Islas and you know it's, it's a bit confusing for consumers yeah, but this, sure. looking at this map and looking at the flavor lines you can find the whiskey flavor profile that you like and then you might have tried you might try something that you wouldn't have necessarily tried before because you didn't know about it you didn't know that it was going to you know fit your kind of taste um, kind of palate yeah and I think in days of modern infrastructure and everything where barley's coming from all over the place and distilleries are so experimental right now that the idea of regionality is a little bit broken now right yeah yeah Fantastic. I mean, this is this is a, a handy little pocket-sized book. It's not very expensive. You can pick this up on Amazon. I think you can pick it up on your website as well, Blair. Yeah, Amazon, my website, an all good bookshop. Yeah, and it's a great gift to give to people, especially people who just start on the whiskey journey. Well, thank you for saying all that. It's great to hear that. And I, I would, I'm just going to ask you one more thing, and I know that you're not expecting to bring this up either. I'm sorry to surprise you. That's all right. I followed a fantastic event last year that you put together on social media, or you and a team were involved in it. It was a charity raising event where you went round distilleries all over Scotland from like 5 a.m. in the morning. Collecting That's correct. bottles to raise money for charity. Do you want to tell us about that? Because I think you're doing it again this year. Yeah, well, we're doing something similar. I'm actually, I'm just going to get out the taxi and then I'll tell you about it, if that's all right. Super. Just perfect here. Thank you very much, Trevor. Um, sorry about that. I'm just, I'm traveling in between events. I'm actually traveling to Kuala Lumpur tomorrow at 6 a.m. Um, so heading home to pack. So I'll just be one second. I'm just taking all my bottles of whiskey out of the, out of the taxi. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much, Trevor. So, yeah, so last year we did a charity event where we went to um, 60 distilleries in about 14 hours, six zero um, distilleries. Oh, yeah, so we started at 4 a.m. at Balclair and then we finished uh, about nine o'clock at night at Aberfeldy and along the route we'd collected a bottle um, at every single distillery and then they were all put together. So there was about 60 bottles in total and then there was a raffle for a charity I've worked with for a number of years called Just a Drop, which is a, a fantastic water charity and you could win all 60 bottles by buying just a single raffle ticket and the guy that won i think he bought about five tickets yeah. and he won 60 bottles of whiskey so it was absolutely exhausting though so what we decided to do this time was not do in such a grand scale we've gone for 40 bottles and we actually most of them sent to the office and then i was up doing spirit of space side 
So I was in Speyside anyway, so I collected a few of them and did photos and such then. So we've not done the world record attempt this year, but you can still go online. So the, the raffle is open till the end of the month. So if you go to the World Whiskey Day website, you can find the link. And for one pound, you could win 43 bottles of whiskey. I think we'll be all over that. Sounds like fantastic yeah. fun as well. And a fantastic cause. And as well as buying the tickets, I think we can donate to just a drop as well, right? You can also contribute another donation, but the more tickets you buy, the more odds you've got of, uh, of winning the prize. Of course. Fantastic. Listen, I'm, I'm going to let you carry on now and, and get on with the rest of your super, super busy day. I'm really, really pleased that you come on to join me today, Blair. Especially, I know how stretched your time will be today with this huge event that's happening across the world. I appreciate you coming on. Is there anything you'd like to say to the whiskey tubers and the, the, the followers that's going to be joining all through the night tonight? Yeah, I just hope you have a lovely evening. I mean, I'm just so delighted that you're doing this and bringing everyone together. And yes, you're all you know doing your own kind of thing to your own channels, but it's just so lovely to see collaboration. And it just really means a lot to me that you're doing this and putting this on. And it's just lovely to see people sharing whiskey together on World Whiskey Day, which is something, you know, it's grown in a way that I could never have imagined. So it really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. Fantastic. Blair, have a wonderful World Whiskey Day today, what's left of it for you. Um, I hope to meet up with you over the summer at some point. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. You're a fantastic guy. And thanks for giving us this day. No, cheers. Thank you. Take care, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, bye. Here's Slanty Man. Fantastic. So there we have it. The founder of World Whiskey Day, Blair Bowman, who's an awfully nice guy. And if you spend any time in his company, I had the pleasure of doing a masterclass with Blair Bowman last year, where he was challenging us uh, in a blind taste session. It was fantastic. He does all these kind of uh, tasting whiskey in the dark and experimental stuff. It's really quite cool. Um, so it's nice. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter. You can follow him on Instagram, the World Whiskey Day website and BlairBowman.com as well. So um, see what, I, he's a super, super passionate guy and a good guy to follow on whiskey as well. I'd just like to shout out my friend Rob. I'm wearing the colors tonight for you, my friend. And here in my glass, I've not had a sip of it yet. I've started off with an Athrusk, a wee 10 year old flora and fauna. And I'm just about to enjoy, courtesy of you, my friend, a Canadian Club 40-year-old to celebrate World Whiskey Day. Fantastic. Um, uh, and thanks for your donation as well. That's a double dram that you've bought me there, Rob. And V. Rich Richie, thank you so much. He's saying, happy World Whiskey Day, Roy. Superb. There's a bunch of people coming in already, so I want to just quickly try and just uh, go through what you can expect to see the rest of tonight. Um, I'm not going to spend as long as I did with this earlier, but just remind you of the times. Um, you will see, I've just had another uh, donation in from my friend Metal Man. Superb. Thank you so much for that. And um, he's saying thanks for all you do for the whiskey community. No, thanks to the whiskey community what, for what you do. It's actually you guys that make this happen. You know, we're just hosts. We just open our door and let you come in. Um, you know, it's you know, we just kind of lay on the party. You have to join. It needs the it needs the the party goers, and you're the party goers. So thank you, Metal Man. Thanks you so much for your for your contribution. So quickly tonight, super excited about this. I think it's a fantastic thing to do for everyone. Um, but we've got maybe between fifteen and twenty channels getting involved. So that's just quickly after tonight. I'm going to be handing over to my friend in Germany, Whiskey Jason, who'll be doing an English live stream. Now he normally does these live streams in German, but tonight he'll be doing an English stream. And he'll have Keith from Malted Man Cave and Paul from Malt Mondays. Both of those guys are out in the States and they'll be they'll be taking you through the next hour after me. And then he'll hand over to Mark out in Korea. Now, Mark out in Korea, he's already kind of early hours of the morning out there, um, but uh, he'll be joining up with um, uh, another a whiskey channel that you'll recognize that's Vin from No Nonsense Whiskey and perhaps one that you might not recognize it's a channel called Whiskey Bloke. Whiskey Bloke as you can tell by the name probably is based in the UK and I've been enjoying his content recently super funny stuff interesting to see um, what they bring tonight and they're uh, looking forward to their stream they'll be running from UK time I'm just going on UK time just now they'll be running from 10 30 to 11.30. Then after Mark at Whiskey Whistle, it'll be back to me and I'll carry you through until 1am uh, in the morning where I'll be handing over to the Scotch Test Dummies and I'll share with you a wee bit more about what I want to do in my show and some of the things that's coming up in just a wee minute. And I'll be handing over, obviously, to Scotch Test Dummies, who'll be welcoming in Charles 
uh, that you know perhaps from Instagram is Drinking Caveman, but you might also know him as a uh, one half of uh, Whiskey Untitled on YouTube as well. Then the Scotch Test Dummies will be handing across to Swami in Canada. Malted in Montreal will be hooking up with Eric Waite. Um, and the two guys, th those two guys, I think, are getting up to some kind of shenanigans involving Amrut Fusion. Um, so they're looking at a World Whiskey to celebrate World Whiskey Day today as well. Then Swami will hand over to Bill at Whiskey Dictionary, who I think is, uh, I think what he's doing is a wee bit of a surprise, but a little bird tells me that he might be exploring a flight of our bags. So we'll see what uh, Bill brings between the hours of the times up there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 3 a.m. in the morning, our time, and uh, 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern, which I think is Bill's time, and the Pacific time, that's uh, 7 o'clock in the evening and then bill will hand over to rob out in canada as well whiskey in the six and he's hooking up with cam miller who is a, a brand ambassador for edrington i think it's highland park and i think he covers north america for highland park and the two of them will be exploring some highland park editions together and then we hand over to Keith, Malted Man Cave. I think he's hooking up with his sidekick, Dave. Um, and he's also going to have a new channel on called The Malt Land. Um, so we're trying to involve as many channels as we can and expose you to some of the, the newer channels as well and uh, uh, so that you can explore um, some other uh, new whiskey creators that's out there. And then... Uh, uh, Keith at Malton Man Cave will be passing on to Daniel, who is out in Saskatchewan right now. He'll be coming to us from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Um, and uh, Daniel's managed to secure a couple of nice bottles while he's out there so that he can enjoy uh, World Whiskey Day with us. And he's hooking up with a YouTuber, an Instagrammer called, um, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name properly, but it looks like Krusarin to me. And uh, those two guys will be getting together um, to look at, um, amongst other things, I know that they've got at least one Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottling to look at, which I guess to them is a world whiskey. And then finally, we hand over to the king of the live, live streams, Food Quig. And Food Quig can take us off into the wee small hours of the morning, and, uh, and uh, we'll see just how long that's going to go for. Uh, Food Quig is famous for attempting to break the internet by going um, for as long live as YouTube will allow him. I've just had some more donations in. Fantastic. Thank you so much to William Brooks. Aquavita is a whiskey saint. I don't know about that, but thank you very much, William. And thank you for that donation. Fantastic. Andy Arbagi, my friend Andy, has also given me a fantastic donation as well. Wonderful, Andy. Just remember that there's lots and lots of channels out there tonight bringing lots of content. Um, so I'm super appreciative of these donations. It's fantastic. It's these virtual drams that you're sending my way. Um, but remember to spread some of the, the charity tonight. Um, I love you all. You're just fantastic guys. Thank you so much for your generosity. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now in my show a wee bit later on, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, giving away some prizes tonight. I want to find a way to thank my patrons. I've had fantastic support on Patreon from so many of you and I want you to thank you. Um, so I will be pouring samples and I'll be picking out random patrons throughout the night, and uh, you can either choose a sample or let me choose for you. And I'll just be writing out whoever, I'll just be asking Siri, I'll be doing what the Scotch Test Dummies do, just be asking Siri to pick, she's come alive, go back to sleep, Siri. <laughs> um, and to, to pick a random number um, of my patrons. But I'll also be asking you guys, I'll just be looking at the comments when I do that, and I'll also be picking a random comment and handing out the exact same to people who are participating in the community and in the chat tonight as well. Also for the quiz, I do have quiz prizes as well. Um, now I don't know how the quiz is going to go tonight. I do have a quiz, but it's not the traditional normal Aquavite quiz. It has to be open to all. So what we will have tonight is a multiple choice quiz so that even theoretically a chimp could win the quiz, okay? And everybody in the chat will be participating in the quiz. Everybody will be joining in, but you keep your own scores. Now, remember that live chat replay means that we can go back after the event and verify the scores, but um, we don't expect anything other than absolute honesty anyway. Um, you keep your own scores, and at the end, shout out what your scores are. And now, obviously, there may be tiebreaker scenarios going on, but I do have some tiebreakers ready, and we do have some quiz prizes. We have... Um, in these black bags, 
I might need to resort to the black bags in the event of uh, tiebreakers. I have an A, B, and C marked on these little black pouches. And inside them, I have a Highland Park 15-year-old. Now, this is the original Highland Park 15-year-old back when they were trying to promote this. Um, this came out, I think, about, I don't know, 2009, 2010. I've had this for quite a while. Um, I have a Highland Park 30-year-old as well. This is the original Highland Park 30 when it was absolutely fantastic. And I also have a Highland Park 18. So please come along to the show from 11.30 onwards and participate in the quiz. It'll be a much faster quiz uh, than normal. Um, just trying to keep the pace up and keep the energy up as well. I'm super, super excited about this event tonight. Um, I'm super excited to watch what everybody's going to be bringing in terms of content. Just let me pause for a second and wind down with this 40-year-old Canadian club. I've got about three minutes left. I'm going to be breaking off just a little bit earlier so that we can give a Whiskey Jason time uh, to get things set up so that I can go and get sit and hang out in Whiskey Jason's um, a chat room and obviously give you guys a chance to jump over there as well. And what I'm going to do now, actually, I'm going to try to find the link uh, to Whiskey Jason's show uh, so that I can paste it in the chat so that literally with the handover, and I'm hoping that all the channels do this tonight, the last thing that they paste in the chat before they kill the, the show is they put in the link to the next live stream and you can literally just really just go from one stream to one stream and one stream. Another thing I'm going to look out for, if there is somebody that can claim that they made an active positive contribution to the chat and every single live stream that's happening tonight, which is 10 shows through the night, send an email to whiskey at aquavitae.com. Tell me that you did that. I'll be able to verify that you did that, and I will send you a prize. I will send you the same thing that I'm sending to patrons, and I'll send the same thing that I'm, set, that I'm sending out to random people I'm picking out during my show later. So if you're able to participate in all the events tonight, I know that that's going to be crazy, especially if you're on a European time zone, because it's going to be like 7 a.m. in the morning by the time we get to Food Quig way out in the West Coast, uh, North America, and not West Coast Canada. Um, but if you can do that, I think you deserve something nice from the Aquavitae collection. So there we go. I don't know what else there is to say um, other than, I don't know, enjoy your evening. Um, this has been a magical team effort by everybody. I simply suggested that we do something at very, very short notice because I realized that we didn't actively have anything as individuals. I put a message out there just to say who wants to get together and do something. And literally, we were very, very quickly overwhelmed. Everybody wanted to do it. Everyone, everybody wanted to get involved to the point that there's a number of channels that I actually have to mention who, unfortunately, we couldn't involve because it became saturated so quickly. And also because of diff short notice, because of lack of availability and things like that. But channels like Blind Whiskey Reviews, John wasn't able, able to join this time. Whiskey Neighbor wasn't able to join. My Bourbon Journey, Scott. Whiskey Wednesday, Phil. Maltman Mike, Top Whiskies. Uh, who's this? The Whiskey Couch, Gustav down in South Africa. Uh, the Whiskey Woman, a, a brand new channel. Friends of mine in Glasgow here have just started a new channel, The Whiskey Woman. Um, we've got Ryan Bennings, Whiskey World. We've got Telex, The Whiskey Tech. That's my... Uh, That's my timer telling me that my time's up. <laughs> um, Scotch for dummies, Telex the Whiskey Tech. And of course, Ralphie sends his apologies as well. And the Whiskey Tribe, they say, that they're sorry, they couldn't make it. Um, I'm going to raise a glass, this Canadian Club 40. I'm going to enjoy this. Sorry I couldn't interact with you in the chat tonight. I can see a bunch of you have been in. I can see lots and lots of chat happening. I'll try and scrub through this chat later uh, in between the shows as I'm watching uh, uh, Whiskey Jason. I'm just pasting in the link to the, to the next live stream here. And I hope there will be technical difficulties. There's some people that's going live tonight for the first time, like uh, the Malted Man Cave is hosting his first live show tonight. Um, there is lots of kind of guests coming in and out. There are lots of, there's bound to be some mistakes happening things. 
but we're going to try our best to have fun um, and we're going to try and have fun with you guys as well. So I hope to see you throughout the night and all the lives that are coming up. I'm really looking forward to kicking back here and just relaxing in between and um, looking forward to picking you up in the show at uh, 11.30. So join me back here. Um, the, on the, the, there's a link in that Aquavite channel. There's, it's already posted up there. You join me back here at 11.30 and I look forward to welcoming you then. Happy World Whiskey Tea, folks, and Slancha. Jason, I'm passing this virtual dram over to you.